We're going to make a pendant using an older Australian coin. The silver coins in Australia from 1911 to 1945 are sterling silver. So that makes it easy for us. Now we're going to solder a small jump ring sideways on this and then a bigger jump ring through it so it articulates. Ideally your small jump ring will be the same size as your coin. It just aesthetically it'll look better. So this coin is 1.3 thick and I've got a piece of wire that's 1.4. So that, that's not bad. Close. So what we're going to do is make a small jump ring and I've just taken a drill bit with a uh, 1.5 diameter, put it in my cordless drill, and I'm going to just stick the end of the wire in the chuck and make just a few jump rings. Yeah. Quick way to do it, pull your drill bit out, cut these off. So it's handy to have a small set of drill bits just for this purpose. So we're going to saw this off now. And I just brace it against my bench peg, hold it in my fingers. <coughs> Take two of your parallel jaw pliers, hold the jump ring, close the gap, hold, it, hold the jump ring in one of your pairs of pliers, use a number two cut flat hand file with a little joint up and file a flat right across the end of the jump ring. And what we're going to do is, by having that flat, we'll be able to put it up against the coin and get a good solder join. So put a texture mark on your coin where you want the small jump ring to be. And what we want is the mark to be on the back. So we're going to solder this from the back. And the reason we're doing that is if there's any kind of little solder spill, it's on the back and we'll have just a nice smooth line on the front. So I use a charcoal block when I'm doing this. And usually what happens is your block gets all manky. But if you turn it up, the edges are almost always still nice. So get a nice flat area. And we're going to position our coin with the face down. Yeah, now I want the king on the outside. So there's my texture mark. Place the flat of your jump ring on your mark. Flex it. And you need the jump ring and the coin fluxed, but just where you're going to solder. Then you can either place a piece of hard solder on here with your flux brush, or you can put the solder on your solder pick and place it after the metal's warm. Now, <clears throat> For this one, I placed a piece of hard solder right in the join, and we're going to use a mini torch for this. And what you want to do is you want to warm this up until the flux dries out. And that way you'll know that your jump ring and your solder 
is in the correct position. <clears throat> so I'm about 50 mil away, just circling the coin. I'm not putting the heat directly on the jump ring or the solder. So I'm bringing the coin up to temperature. So the flux will go clear. The solder will flow. And that's that. So now quench this in water. Have a look at it. Make sure that you have a nice solder join. If you don't have a good join where you can see a nice curve between the two pieces, uh, pickle it, flux it, and do it again. So always make sure that your outside is face down on the charcoal. So this is a good solder join. What we're going to do now is put a larger jump ring through it so that it articulates and then we're finished. So I've put a larger jump ring with the metal the same diameter as the original jump ring on the side so that aesthetically it looks, <clears throat> looks better. So joint up in your third hand, just a little bit of flux right on the join and make sure that the join is a really good fit. So what we're going to do now is cut a piece of solder onto the charcoal block. And we're going to heat this. We're going to heat the solder and pick it up with our solder pick. So we're actually putting the pick behind the solder, heat the pick in the solder, the solder will ball up and stick to the pick. Now, the flame needs to be angled up so that it's only on the join. The flux will go clear. Place your solder with your solder pick. The solder will run. And that's it. So quench this, pickle it, and then we're going to tumble it. Now, if you look at the coin and it's oxidized like this, it's clean where the flux was and oxidized here. What you might want to do is coat that with flux and warm it up and it'll take the oxidation away. So I'm going to do both sides because I want it nice and pretty when I tumble it. And what you don't want to do is get it hot enough that you melt the solder. So you're just going to heat this until the flux goes clear. Quench it and pickle it. So you hold it so you can see what I'm doing. So that's coated with flux. I'm just warming it up. The flux will go clear. And the piece will be cleaned just by the flux. Now, <clears throat> when you quench this and pickle it, all of the rest of this stuff will come off. You can see this one small piece that's still oxidized. What I do is put a little more flux on that spot. And if you're using your sable brush, it won't hurt the brush. So I'm just recoating the area that's heavily oxidized. And we do it again. So just a little bit at a time. Don't melt your solder. Yep, so that's nice and clean now. We'll quench it, pickle it, <clears throat> and then we'll tumble it. So now you have the technique. The rest of the story is 
if you want to do a bracelet using the same technique, it's quite easy. So it's the same idea. Your jump rings want to be the same thickness as your coin. And then when we do our connecting links, we squeeze them into an oval so that the bracelet lays flat. Yeah. So connect your coins. So what I do is I solder all of the jump rings onto the coins completely. Then I assemble it with the jump ring, the bigger jump rings. And then I make a hook for the end. And same thing, we want to tumble these. We don't want to uh, take any of the detail away from the coins. Once you've pickled the piece, have a look at it, if it's the way you want. Hallmark it, and with these, we hallmark it on the jump ring. And I've got a pair of hallmarking pliers, so we just position that so that it's right in the center of the wire. A gentle squeeze, because you can really deform these, and it's marked 925. And it really is 925. Tumble it.